This conference will now be recorded. When you are routing an, routing an assignment to an operator by using two workplace, you have an option, check availability. Okay, so what is this check availability option for your interviews purpose and all? Maybe you will also practically go ahead and do it. See here, every operator in the operator rule form under work tab can provide his unavailability, means his leave details, absence details. That is, he is going to absent, he or she going to absent from, let's say, let's say 12th Friday, last Friday, they have filled it. So 12th to 29th, this is absent. During the absent period, substitute operator. So during the absent period, any work that is going to be routed to this particular operator will get automatically rerouted to substitute operator. That can be, Defaultly an operator ID, it can be anything. Or you can call a decision tree here and based on some condition, the written value of decision tree can be another operator or another work queue. It can be anything. Okay, that is also possible. So like this, if you choose while routing, you are going to choose check availability. Routing to operator one, check availability. If operator one, is unavailable then it gets automatically rerouted to substitute operator this is the concept of check availability option and substitute operator in pega for routing everyone clear with this are you clear with the concept yes sir yes okay so this is about check availability option which is available and operator rule form unavailable from and unavailable to. Suppose here, if I'm going to call a decision tree, so can someone tell me what will be the written values of this decision tree? What could be the written values of this decision tree? An operator name or a work queue or a work. An operator name call, operator ID. ID. So the written value should be generally operator ID. Suppose if you go ahead with work queue, then the written values, you make sure that it is going to be a work work basket. name of the work basket are you called a work queues so like that you have to accordingly design your logic so based on certain conditions so like this you can have a substitute operator mentioned during the absent period of an operator where the routing is going to happen to the substitute operator if the during the unavailability of current operator. so whoever whomever you are Routing. Yes, sir. When you yes. select the option, check availability. If you don't select check availability, then this won't happen. Yes, please. Here you have written an operator OP1. What is OP1? Um, so we don't yeah, have written operator ID OP1. It, can okay, be any so operator. it has to be an operator ID, right? Um, it can be any operator ID. Yeah, it, it has to be a configured operator ID, right? Right now we have, yes, we yes. have OP1. Yeah. Yes, correct. Okay. Okay, so this is about unavailability, which I wanted to let you know uh, with routing. So let's discuss more about uh, other stuff going forward in future classes. One this minute. conference will now be recorded. Oh. Types of flows. So those who are already working on Pega, how many types of flows we have? Those who are already working on Pega or those who had already learned Pega from somewhere else. How many types of flows we have? Uh, two types. We have three types of flows. So what are those? Process flow. Second one, subflow. Third one, screen flow. Third one, screen flow. Process flow, subflow, and screen flow. See, process flow, these are flow types. Okay. If you consider processing wise, you can add one more additional, just for your additional information. In interviews, you tell only these three. 
processing wise there is something called straight through process so what do you mean by straight through process means flow without manual interaction see without manual interaction means there is a flow shape which will not be part of this flow can you tell me what is the flow shape which will not be there in this flow with ma assignment. without manual interaction assignment. assignment so a flow without assignment shape without assignment shape means there is no human interaction needed it will be processed by utilities and all going forward it will run in the background something like that utilities and all so once it starts it will end during start and between start and no manual interaction is needed these are called straight through process everyone clear with this concept of what is straight through process means there is no manual interaction means there will not be any assignment shapes see here your straight through processes generally will be used in a type of applications where pega is used for processing means let's say your ui is js html asp jsp but processing is pega means pega ui you are not using pega you are using only for processing ui you are using different technologies then you need straight through processing pega is going to do processing and remaining ui will be there in other technology this can be achieved by using web services you have you are you are going to use here so your prpc is going to have complete services created where other application ui is going to make call to pega application processing will be done and storage here and only ui is other technology this type of applications are called as for your information again headless pega applications these are called as headless pega applications in interview they ask you do you have knowledge about headless pega applications can you tell me you have or you don't have we should say yes you should say yes, yes. because you know everything in pega ui plus processing they're asking without you you have experience yes you should have experience for that we, the, the the reason why you have experience is maybe your application is not like that but you should be able to work on it because your application has both head as well as this processing so if you remove that ui part from pega and some other application and you learn services in pega remaining everything will be safe okay so this is something additional information which i want to tell you related to straight through processing everyone hear about the concept of straight through processing and when it will be used in general arsha i have a question arsha yes please so what is the benefit of uh, having the prpc in, um... there is no benefit business wants a different ui that's it business want user interface with mm -hmm. many ui silver light components something like that let's say mm -hmm. that is not possible in pega that's it nothing else okay. so for them why they are going to use pega prpc with other ui is processing will be faster in pega okay fine okay so now coming back to types of flows three types of flows process flow subflow screen flow process flow subflow by nature by nature both are same means everything that you do in process flow can be done in subflow as well in very simple short a flow which is called from another flow is subflow okay suppose you have flow a and you have flow b you are calling flow a sorry flow b from flow a then here flow b is referred as subflow you have flow c flow c is called from flow b then flow c is subflow to flow b which is subflow to flow a process flow is the one which is starting flow creates work object for transaction so that is process flow subflow will be called from process flow so it has all features it can create a work object that is possible that's up to you whether you create or not 
screen flow is something different, which I will tell you in a few minutes. You, we can call a flow from another flow by using a flow shape. Let me show you the flow shape. So we can use the flow shape to call a flow from another flow that is called sub process. There are multiple flow shapes available for the same. I will tell you about other flow shapes later that is called as sub process. We can call a flow from another flow by using sub process. You can call another flow, another sub flow, or you can call screen flow also from a flow. This is clear everyone. So let's go ahead now and discuss more about this process flow, subflow, and screen flow. So, what is the name of the process flow when you create a case type which is responsible for creating work object? Can someone please tell me name of the process flow when you create a case type which creates a work object? Dy default. Yes. No, no, no. Sorry. That is wrong. What is the name of the process flow? P PY start case. PY start case is the process flow which is responsible for creating work object. Okay, look at here now. See the remaining flows what you have here. This user details flow. This is part of the transaction processing which is internally called. This is subflow. This is subflow. This is subflow. All these are subflows. Practically will work on our own subflows after some time. Not today, maybe tomorrow. Okay, now coming to the third type of flow, which we're going to work on today. The subflow we're going to work on one day after. So screen flow. Let me tell you about screen flow. Screen flow is the one which cannot create a work object. By default, a screen flow cannot create work object. So I have posted a question related to this. After this class is completed, you should be answering my question in the uh, Twitter. Maybe you can go ahead and respond on Twitter, maybe tomorrow or today. So the way how you create a flow, same process, same navigation to create a flow. Name is, let's say, some name. So here you click on create and open. It creates either a process flow or subflow. Depends on how you are going to make use of it. Instead of that, you have an additional option. View additional configuration options. Standard template for screen flows. If you're going to use this standard template for screen flows and click on create and open, then this is going to act as a screen flow. If you go to screen flow, process tab of the screen flow, you see it creates a new work object option which is disabled. What happened? Creates a new work object option is being disabled. That means a screen flow by default cannot create a work object screen flow by default cannot doesn't have capability to create a work object but still we should be able to create work objects using screen flow still we can make a screen flow as starting flow of your transaction that is possible a screen flow cannot create a work object a screen flow by default cannot be starting flow of your transaction but if you want to still make it we can make it now diagram tab so in the diagram tab you see here Generally, tell me someone, someone tell me, where do we call the flow action? In the flow, uh, in, uh, from the outward, outward, assignment, outward connector for the assignment. So, outward connector from the assignment. That is in case of process flow or subflow. Here, the option is not available. If you closely observe, there is no option to call flow action. But here, you double click on the assignment shape itself. So here you have flow action option available. I, if I check out, it will come to editable mode. It will come to editable mode. So you have flow action option available here. So you can call flow action in screen flow directly on the assignment shape instead of its outward connector. Okay. So now here you go away. Whenever you are working on assignment shape in case of process flow, there is a possibility in case of process flow, you can call more than one flow action for assign for assignment. So you need to watch. You can note down somewhere. Go to YouTube channel and watch the video. Likelihood to understand calling more than one flow action for assignment in case of process or subflow. 
you need to watch the video of likelihood recently i have posted okay now coming back to screen flow in a screen flow per one assignment we can call only one flow action but in process flow per assignment at assignment we can refer more than one flow action that is possible everyone clear with this difference one means design wise in screen flow we will be calling the flow action directly on assignment shape in process flow we will be calling on assignment shape output connector in screen flow we can call flow action one per assignment in process flow we can call n number of flow actions at assignment you know to watch likelihood video now look at here so in we have discussed about harness you remember perform harness where is the perform harness rule called in case of process flows where it where is it available on the assignment on the assignment ship see suppose in a process flow just imagine we have five 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 assignments for each assignment can i call different different harness rule is it possible or not possible suppose assignment 1 harness 1 yes. assignment 2 harness 2 assignment 3 harness 3 is it possible or not possible possible yes. it is possible okay so like this for assignment you can have different different harness that's up to you what you wanted to call there in screen flow harness option is not there on assignment ship it is not provided on assignment ship instead harness option you see on start ship in the start ship you have harness option means in a screen flow you have more than one assignment let's say i am going to add more assignments in a screen flow all the assignments are going to share same appearance means same harness everyone clear with this in process flow at each assignment we can have different harness that is okay but in screen flow harness option is available at start shape that means all the assignments in screen flow will have same appearance same harness everyone clear with this yes now additional to this if you double click on start shape you have routing route to work list route to work basket either of these you can choose see when you work with routing in case of screen flows routing option is available on start shape instead of assignment shape that means in a screen flow if i have 10 assignments all 10 assignments should be worked on by only same operator one operator the same operator should work on all assignment in case of process flow each assignment has routing option that means assignment 1 i can route to operator 1 assignment 2 operator 2 assignment 3 operator 3 assignment 4 operator 4 assignment 5 operator 5 assignment 6 operator 6 like this n number of assignments can be routed to n number of different work lists or work basket but in case of process flow oh, sorry yeah, that is in process flow or sub flow but in case of screen flow all the assignments must be worked on only by one operator so this is called the, oh, sorry this this is this is because routing option in screen flow is available at start shape instead of individual assignment shape everyone clear with this yes okay next point see here the harness option which is there in start shape by default you have tabbed screen flow screen flows are again classified into three types okay those are tabbed screen flow based on their appearance tree navigation and what is the last one is perform screen flow perform screen flow looks similar to perform harness with a little difference i will tell you tabbed tree navigation tabbed means by the name itself you should be able to tell me how it should be visible in different tabs each screen should be different each assignment will be like one tab tree navigation means tree of links this is tree representation this is tree link 1 in that link 1 link 2 link 3 like this click on the link assignment this is another assignment this is another assignment i'll show you practically so this is different types of screen flows see 
in a screen flow mainly you, you find the appearance difference that is in process flow we have at the assignment submit button submit button will be there remaining two buttons you can ignore okay but in case of screen flows you have next button you have back button proceed or back next next and find last assignment finished button means using a back button suppose assignment one two three four five assignments are from third assignment i can go back to second assignment from second go back to first assignment from there forward so forward and backward navigations are possible in screen flow which i will show you practically okay so let's let me show you that practically in case of screen flow about forward and backward navigations okay we will just go ahead and redesign the existing one into a screen flow everyone write down the requirement This conference will now be recorded. See here, differences between process flow and screen flow. So process flow can create a work object, which is starting flow of the transaction, which creates a work object, which has the capability to create a work object. But in the case of screen flow, creates any work object option will, will be is been disabled so the the screen flow by default by its nature to the option of creates a new work object is disabled it cannot create a work object okay now here you go away process flow each assignment we can call multiple flow actions in process flow at every assignment we can call multiple flow actions but in screen flow the flow action can be called an assignment shape only. We can, we can call only one flow action per assignment. In process flow, flow action will call on outward connector. In, in screen flow, we'll call on assignment. In process flow, each assignment can have different harness, but harness option is there in start shape in screen flows. So all screen flows assignments should have only one harness being shared. And routing is also in process flows, routing is available in routing option is available in assignment shape so each assignment can be routed to different operator different work, work baskets but in case of screen flow routing option is there on start shape so all assignments must have to be worked on by same operator now in case of process flow you will be having submit button for each assignment at each assignment as we have seen previously each assignment will have submit button in case of screen flow next to back finish buttons are there so you can we can navigate between the screens that's why it is screen flow between the assignments in case of screen flow because of provision of back next time submit buttons so these are the main differences other than this there is one more difference that is let me show you in case of process flow in general process flow or sub flow so you should be able to access the advanced shapes advanced shapes can be used integrator assignment service assignment robot swim lane split join Up to these five shapes can be used in process flow but if you go to screen flow the provision of these five shapes will not be available split for each is there but advanced shapes except split for each nothing is available in case of screen flow so we cannot use advanced flow shapes in screen flow but in process flow, we can use advanced version. That is also one more point in the differences. I will be sharing the document for the same to every one of you. And we will be working on subflows going forward in the next class.